everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to the WAPTI Regional Library Week 9 Challenge video. This week we are getting crafty. I challenge you to make a craft that you find using one of our e-resources, one of our books, or one of our Creative Corner videos which you can find on YouTube. Remember, you can actually get physical books from your library now. Just contact your local library to see if they are offering curbside pickup, appointment only, or limited capacity options. First, I will be showing you some examples of crafts that I made using books. You can try one of these crafts as part of your challenge entry. Just remember to send us a picture to be entered into our draw for some awesome prizes at the end of summer. The first craft I will be showing you I made is best for younger audiences, but it is quite interesting for any age. I am going to show you how to make this marbled paper. If you believe it, it's made just using shaving cream and food coloring. I found this craft using Craft Lab for Kids by Stephanie Corfi. Stay tuned to see how I make it, and later in the video, I will also show you how to make a macrame plant holder which is best for teen and adult crafters. Let's begin. To make marbled paper, you will need a dish or a pan, some shaving foam, food coloring of any color, white paper, the thicker the better, a mixing stick, and a piece of hard cardboard. Start off by spraying the shaving foam into your pan or dish. Watch as it foams up. You are then going to add drops of food coloring all over. Be sure not to do too much at once or else your marble will be quite messy. Once you have all the colors you want, Take your mixing stick and mix it together. Be sure not to mix too much or add too much color. You want to still have a nice looking pattern. Add more color and mix as needed until you are satisfied. Take your piece of paper and press it down onto the foam. Then. Remove it from the foam and lay it out flat. You can reuse the foam for many pictures. Once you have your pictures laying flat, there will still be some foam. Be sure just to wipe it away with some cardboard. Using these, you can keep it as a picture, glue it to a piece of cardboard to make a pretty bookmark, glue it onto another piece of paper to make a beautiful card, or just cut it into fun shapes for decorations and to practice learning shapes. Try experimenting with many different colors and see what you can make. Wasn't that amazing? Now, for our teens and older adults, I am going to show you how I made this macrame pot holder. It can be done using any type of fabric or cord or rope. I found it in this ebook available on Library to Go. Let's see how we make this. To make a macrame plant holder, you will need some tape and a ruler if you wish, a ring to hold on the top, some scissors, and some cord, rope, or any type of lawn fabric. Start off by cutting eight pieces of your fabric that are four feet long each. You are then going to take your eight pieces of cord, rope, or whatever you are using, 
and make a knot about 6 inches from the end. Pull it very tightly as this will hold the bottom of your pot. You will then want to tape down your fabric to a table or a board so that it does not move while you are working. Separate the strands into four sections. You will have two strands in each section. Take each section and make a knot about two inches up from the bottom. Try to make all the knots on the sections the same distance. You are then going to take each of these sections and separate the strands in them. You are going to combine one strand from each section with the one next to it as shown. You will do this by knotting the two strands together. It is best to make these knots about two inches up from your previous knots. You will want to repeat the same process of taking one string from each section and combining them. This will start to make a circular or flower shape. If you are confused at any point, be sure to rewind and rewatch. You will then take all strands and just like you did on the bottom, make a large knot combining them all together. Depending on the size of your pot, you may want to insert your pot before, but for mine it worked to insert the pot after. You can consider your pot hanger finished at this point. All you have to do is attach it to a ring so that you can hang it from a hook. If you want to take it a step further, you can do other macrame knots if you know them. For the top of my plant hanger, I did the square knot. You can learn how to do the square knot by watching the July 24th Creative Corner video, which is macrame keychains where I explain in detail of how to make the square knot. Once again, doing stuff like this is optional, but it will add some creativity to your plant holder if you wish. these two craft ideas gave you some inspiration. So, just remember for the week 9 challenge, you must make a craft using a book, an e-resource such as some of our magazines available in Flipster, or using one of the Creative Corner videos that is already posted on the Wapiti Regional Library YouTube page. Happy crafting and remember, send us your picture for your entry. Bye!